Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots for this video is the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Micromaster Racetrack Patrol with Groundhog and Roller Force. I was so hoping in 2020 Roller Force would get a better name. I hated that name in Generation 1 and I hate that name today. But taking a look at the packaging, you've got Roller Force and Groundhog here in robot mode. Great artwork up here at the top showing both bots in their vehicle mode, and it looks like they're on Airwave. On the back of the package, you've got Roller Force and Groundhog in robot and vehicle mode, and once again on Decepticon Airwave. So let's get these guys ripped open out of the package and check out how cool they really are. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the Racetrack Patrol all open and out of the packaging, you'll see they do come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But these guys are pretty simple. You're really not going to need those instructions. And of course, we have the figures themselves, Groundhog and Roller Force. Let's go ahead and take a look at Groundhog first. I love the looks of this bot. This guy looks really, really cool. He's got really good paint applications. He's got a silver visor, blue mouth plate, great painted details right there on the arms. You can make out the molded uh, exhaust pipes. More great details and paint applications down here on the feet. Lots of sculpted details too. This guy looks really, really good and a great homage to the original Generation 1 Groundhog. See the similarities? I mean, they they put their work in on that. Even has the molded in exhaust, though Earthrise wins with those painted details. So kudos, Hasbro. I love the looks of this guy. This is one of my favorite MicroMasters right here. Now, articulation for the guy. Arms are on a ball joint. They can go up and down. They can't do a complete 360 because they hit this section of the vehicle mode right here. There is a waist rotation. Legs can go in and out slightly, but they can go forward and they can go back about right there. And there is a knee bend. So a really cool little figure. Now let's go ahead and get him transformed into vehicle mode. First thing you want to do is peg the legs together and rotate those up like so. It's an easy transformation, but getting everything pegged in is always a pain. Now we're going to take the arms. Now there is pegs on the arms that match up to these slots, if I can get the light in, little slots right there under the window. Get those arms pegged in just right. Everything keeps popping apart. Got to manipulate those tabs, get them in place, and then just bring the hood down. And there we have Groundhog in his vehicle mode. Now, vehicle mode, got some great paint applications right here along the side, as I showed earlier. The windows look great, but I don't know about this front. There's just something missing with the front. I think the paint should have carried on all the way down to that edge. Maybe some paint there for the headlight area. But other than that, looks really good. 
I know Toy Hacks can fix this guy right up. Big complaint with this MicroMaster, like all the others, is these pegged on wheels. These are not as bad as some of the others. These are actually on pretty tight, but you do want to watch these wheels. They're just pegged in and they can pop off. I mean, I've had some that, you know, they just pop up like, pop off like that. But very cool looking vehicle. We'll go ahead and grab Generation 1, transform him really quickly. A lot faster than the Earthrise version. But there we have G1. Maybe Toy Hacks can give Groundhog gold flames instead of these red ones. As you can see, my G1 is a little rough. I've had him for a long time. So anyway, that is, get back in position here, that is Groundhog. Now let's take a look at Roller Force. Roller Force, once again, a very good looking robot. Lots of molded details, great paint applications. Love the face sculpt. Really, really cool. Lots of molded details all the way down. Not as many paint applications as Groundhog, but still looks really good. And here he is with his Generation 1 hot pink counterpart. Lots of similarities, especially there with the face sculpt. I'm kind of glad Earthrise gave him more of a purple tone instead of this hot pink goodness, but still, I love those collars from the late 80s. He does need his yellow waist piece, though. Now, articulation for Roller Force is the same, except with him, I believe, yes, the arms can do a complete 360. He has a waist rotation, legs up and back, and there is a knee bend. So really cool robot mode. Now let's go ahead and get him transformed into vehicle mode. Now for roller force, we're gonna flip the front section down, peg the legs together, and then we're gonna flip this section up. And these pieces here, you're gonna fold these down and they will connect to the back of the car. Get him tabbed back together again. The worst thing about these little Earthrise MicroMasters is getting those little tiny tabs lined up just right. And now we're going to tab right there at the fist. There's a slot on his hips. Get those tabbed in. And of course, he's all popping apart now. It's hard to do these MicroMasters on camera because I'm zoomed in so much. All right, get tabbed in. Okay, there's one. There's the other. Now he's tabbed in and solid. So there we have Roller Force in his vehicle mode. Now this is a pretty cool looking vehicle, but just like Groundhog, he needs more. There's just not enough paint applications in vehicle mode. Spoiler is kind of a orange reddish color. He's got the silver windows and that's it. He also has the pegged on wheels and these are in there pretty tight as well. So nice connection with those wheels for a change. So now let's bring in Generation 1 Groundhog. We'll transform him, and I guarantee it'll be a lot faster than the Earthrise version. So there we go. We've got Roller Force. I think I just called him Groundhog. We've got Roller Force right here in vehicle mode, G1, and Earthrise version. I don't know. The more I look at it, I think maybe I do wish this guy was more hot pink. So really cool. And there you go, guys. That is the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise MicroMaster Racetrack Patrol. Now, I almost forgot. These guys, just like all the other new modern MicroMasters, have a terrible combined weapon mode. I know some of my fellow reviewers don't even go over that, but I like to show you just because I like to show how awful they are. So the first thing we're going to do is take Roller Force right here. You're going to flip the hood back like so and then let's see we're going to untab those arms bring this section forward like that and extend the legs out like so make sure they're pegged together and then we'll tab i don't know why this guy does not like to tab in then we're going to tab the fists back into the thighs so you got that going on right there and now we're going to take Groundhog, and you need to take the back section of the vehicle, fold it down. Let's see, got to transform him almost back to robot mode. Take the back section, clip that together, and you're going to rotate that forward. Let's bring the arms back. 
get those pegged in flip that around and let's see here so you've got this going on so now you're gonna flip out this little peg right underneath the hood come on so you got that now you take these two and you're gonna peg that peg into the chest of roller force if i can do it without it collapsing on itself there we go so now you have that you're gonna take this peg flip that out and that is the weapon mode i kid you not so let's get uh, grease pit here we'll arm him with this I'm going to call it the What the F***? 3000. So there you have Grease Pit all armed with that weapon. <laughs> it's so bad. And of course, you can add blast effects here on the end to really add to the effect. And there you go, guys. That is the <laughs> Racetrack Patrol Mega Weapon. Oh, that is the bane of Autobot's existence right there. That, that is so stupid. And now for some quick size comparison. Here is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Groundhog and Roller Force with Generation 1 Groundhog and Roller Force, Earthrise Micro Masters Bomb Shock and Growl, and Siege Micro Masters Storm Cloud and Visper. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Groundhog and Roller Force are two great figures. They have fantastic robot modes, great vehicle modes, fairly decent paint applications. Groundhog has way better paint than Roller Force, but still, these are awesome figures to add to your collection, plus they are fantastic homages to those original Generation 1 toys. So there you go, guys. The Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise racetrack patrol so does the transformers war for cybertron earthrise micro masters racetrack patrol belong in your collection absolutely these are fantastic little bots and a welcome addition to your micro master ranks they're also great homages to the original generation one toys i just wish they had a few more little details added to them but i know toy hacks is going to take care of that so yeah you see these guys on the shelf, don't hesitate, pick them up, you're not going to be disappointed. Now guys, I uh, want to finally let you know that the Scorponok Toy Hex decal set, he's all right here ready to go, I'm finally going to start working on that. Uh, my job has been nuts lately, I've been working a lot of overtime and weekends and trying to squeeze out these other reviews, you know, trying to get everything done in a timely manner, I'm finally going to tackle Scorponok here and I cannot wait this set looks like it's gonna be so much fun to apply I'm really not sure how I'm gonna shoot it also uh, my good buddy Bert the Stormtrooper has issued a challenge for me he was at his local store down south and discovered a whole bunch of those Pocky one chip challenges and uh, he sent one to me and it should be here tomorrow so keep an eye on this channel for my live stream of me eating this blazing hot Carolina Reaper tortilla chip. So I know that's going to be a lot of fun for you guys to watch. I don't know about me. So keep your eye on this channel for all the new and upcoming things I've got going on. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime. Signing out. Hello!